I'm Hugh Collingborn, Director of Technology with Sapphire Steel Software. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to give you a sneak preview of some of the features we are developing to let Visual Studio users deploy and debug applications on mobile devices. So, let's begin a new project. To begin, I click File, New, Project, and I select Mobile. And here I choose a simple Mobile Flex application and click OK. The Mobile Wizard now gives me various options. If I need to change to a different deployment platform, Android, Blackberry, iOS, I can set it here. I can also change the screen size and pick a key store, which is a security requirement when deploying these applications, and so on. If I want to save these choices for automatic reuse, I can click Set as Defaults and click OK. Amethyst creates a basic application with all the necessary references and a main file to get me started. Here I've simply copied the files of an existing application, an adventure game, into my new project directory. And now I select Synchronize to add the files to my new mobile project. And now let's deploy it to Android. I start the SDK Manager of Android and I launch a virtual device which I've set up previously. This starts the Android emulator. There are tutorials on our website that explain the basics of using the Android SDK and its emulator. Now, back in my code, I'm going to put a breakpoint. Let's say I'll put it on this line, which will break when the North button is clicked. And when the Android emulator has initialized, I'm ready to build, deploy and debug. And to do that, I can just press F5 or click this Debug button. It can take a little while to deploy the application initially, but gradually you'll see that the Android emulator loads up and prepares itself to be ready for testing. And now I can press the various buttons to move around in my adventure game. And when I click the North button, my breakpoint will be hit. And so now I can use all the features of the Amethyst debugger to navigate the call stack and to view variables in the watch windows or in the Locals window, which is the window seen here. And I can also hover over identifiers in the code editor. And that lets me drill down into objects, and so on. So this has been a very quick preview of the mobile features which we are currently developing for Amethyst. The software I've been demoing is an early beta from April 2011, and we release regular public betas. So to keep up to date with developments, visit the Sapphire Steel software website at www.sapphiresteel.com.